Scorpio, what's going on with you guys? It's your girl D. I'm here to bring you a reading. I hope that you guys are doing okay. Um, like I said, everybody, I hope you're staying sucker free and germ free right now, especially with everything that's going on. But seriously, I hope that everybody is um, in good spirits or doing things to put yourself in good spirits. If you're not sure what you can do or need some ideas of what to do to put yourself in good spirits, number one, stop watching the news. All right, I would just stop watching it. You can check in once a week to see what's going on. I mean, unless you're trying to watch the local weather, which you can look up on your phone. You don't have to be on the internet <laughs> looking at anything about the corona or, you know, looking at anything on TV in reference to it. Because that's all that's on the news right now. So take a break from the news, you know, and take a look at the community tab for 8th House Energy. You'll see that there was a post, um, I think it was posted, yeah, it was last week. Where I listed about 10 different things you could do to try to raise your vibration. You know, things you could do to take your mind off of things. And it will help you a lot, especially if you're somebody who's stressing about what's going on, okay? You know, I love you guys. I appreciate all the support that you bring to the channel. And if you need a reading from me, my information is all in the box below. All right, Scorpio, let's see what we got going on for you guys. Scorpio energy, okay. Ooh. Scorpio energy. All right, let's do this. Let's see what we get here. All right, bottom of the deck, Scorpio, overall energy. This is the Seven of Pentacles, okay? So Seven of Pentacles, this is uh, Taurus energy. This energy can represent the fact that someone is um, building their investments um, they have a couple of different options that they are um, using or that are in place to help them to build their revenue. This could represent multiple streams of income and just watching that income grow. This could also represent being patient with something, having patience <clears throat> with something coming to fruition. Okay, um, something that you are trying to obtain, something that you're trying to grow. This could be something that you're working on. It's going to take it some time to grow, but it has potential here, which is beautiful energy. All right. And this is also hard work and success um, that you've been putting in. You're waiting for your payoff. All right. So that's the current energy here. As far as the current situation, you have the King of Swords energy. This is uh, Aquarius energy here. The King of Swords represents uh, someone who's thinking. Okay. This is someone who's thinking about possibly thinking about their investments or thinking about um, ways that they can grow their investments. All right. This is someone who is using logic. They're taking their emotions out the situation and they're trying to figure out what is the best way to grow my um, financial um, stability so that uh, perhaps, you know, your goal is to not be dependent on others. Perhaps your goal is to uh, gain a certain amount of money because you have a particular task in mind. All right. So you're looking at things from a logical standpoint. All right, you're, you're strategizing here is what I'm getting strongly. Now, the challenge in this is the uh, Eight of Pentacles. So the challenge is um, your focus is what I'm getting strongly, Scorpio. With the Eight of Pentacles, this is the um, Virgo energy, okay? And it's all about um, your focus and you concentrating, okay? And maybe paying attention to detail is specifically is what I'm getting here. You have to be very detail-oriented. You need to pay attention to detail. You can't have a short attention span is what I'm getting here with this energy here. Now, your spirit guides, your guardian angels, your ancestors, we have the um, lovers in reverse energy here, okay? So this is Gemini energy, and this could be representing, um, you know, being careful of making bad choices, okay? Um, if this is a love reading more so, we'll clarify that. Um, but I'm getting strongly here, you know, be careful about the choices you're making is what I'm getting strongly with the lovers in reverse. This also represents if it's love relationships, it's breaking up, divorces, things like that. Um, this could represent law. Okay, so this could represent you going to court. It could very well be a matter where someone is in court trying to figure out what their assets are and what they're entitled to because there may be a divorce that's going on. And the uh, challenge is, you know, um, trying to figure out, um, you know, paying attention to detail, paying attention to the contracts, um, paying attention to the documents that are drawn up to confirm that, 
you know, your assets or whatever it is that you all have together are divided evenly. And it does take some time because this is about patience as well. Okay. And it could be because, like I said, of a breakup. Now, where your head is at is the uh, King of Pentacles in reverse. This is uh, Taurus energy. Now, with the King of Pentacles in reverse, this could be someone who's like feeling like someone's being greedy. They feel as if someone has no follow through. Okay. This could also represent somebody who... Um, is very jealous as well. Okay. Now the outcome here is the sun card in reverse. So somebody's not seeing something. Something's not being illuminated. Okay. This could be delayed gratification as in you have to be patient. Okay. With the seven of pentacles and things will eventually work out on your favor with the sun card here in reverse. So let's take a look and see what we got going on here. For some of you, this is love. For some of you, this is business here. Or, um, yeah, business situation. Money-making situation. Money-making opportunity. All right, let's see what we got for this King of Swords energy for my Scorpios. Why is this King of Swords energy here? We have death. Okay, so something is ending. Like I said, this could be a divorce here. Let's clarify death. Why is death here? Someone could have passed away. This could be the end of a relationship, the end of a marriage. Clarify death. We have the nine of wands. Okay, so someone is standing guard. So this is a situation that's um, ended, a, a relationship or a work situation that is ended. Okay, and someone is being very guarded. They're trying to make sure that, you know, whatever they're entitled to that they get. The challenge is the eight of pentacles here. And we have that clarified with enemy. Ooh, okay. So yeah, there's definitely someone focused. Let's clarify this enemy energy. Why is this energy here? Clarify, okay. Oh, too many popped out. Okay. We have the four of swords. Okay, so someone's not speaking. Okay, so the challenge is um, with the eight of pentacles here, this is telling me that this challenge represents mastering your, your craft um, you know, making sure that you protect your assets, that you're concentrating on, on what it is that you need to concentrate on. Um, and you're not speaking to someone, you're not communicating with someone for some reason. Um, if I need to clarify more after we take care of these cards, I will, but let's see what these cards are about. So I have the lovers in reverse here. This could be, um, you know, a breakup, um, or making a bad choice. Why is the lovers in reverse here? This is with your spirit guides, your guardian angels, your ancestors, whomever you go to or pray to is what they're wanting you to keep in mind here. So we have, we have widower in reverse. Okay. So yeah, this is for some of you, this is in reference to a breakup of a relationship. So, um, we have widower clarified with the six of swords, someone moving away. Six of swords energy is Aquarius energy. So, yeah, this is a definitely um, a situation where your universe, your spirit guides want you to uh, let go of this situation. Um, don't mourn the loss of this. This is not something that you should um, reconvene or pick up is what I'm getting strongly here. Now, where your head is at is that this situation or this individual either has no follow through or they're, they're greedy or they're jealous and or all three. We have that clarified with thought. Okay. So let's clarify thought here. Why is thought here? What is this person thinking about? If this is how you feel about this person. You thought about it and this is what you, the conclusion you've come to. We have the Ace of Swords and okay, upright. Yeah, so this is what I'm getting here. You're realizing the truth about this person. That this person was just uh, greedy, no follow through, just out for whatever they could get. Now the outcome here is going to be the um, seven, uh, I'm sorry, the sun card in reverse. Now, let's see why this is here, because it could be one of two things where either this is um, delayed gratification, meaning you're going to get your success, but it's just going to take some time, uh, or it's just you're not seeing something, all right? Something's not being illuminated. So let's see. So we have house in reverse, okay? So let's see what's going on here. Clarify house. So yeah, there's a lot of waiting here. Because the sun card in, rep in reverse represents waiting. The overall energy here with the seven of cups, I'm sorry, seven of pentacles is about waiting as well. So someone is someone waiting on someone move. To, oh, someone wants to move. That's what it is. Someone wants to move and they have to wait because they have to wait for their money. 
All right, and we have two of cups in reverse. Yeah, so someone wants to move away from someone or move out. A relationship is over. Some of you, you've been, you gotten divorced um, and you are um, looking to move, but right now you can't because you're waiting for your finances to come in. Um, but I'm showing here for some of you, they're going to come in. All right, so you 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 got your investments. You're looking to see what it is that you can uh, muster up so that you're able to move. But beautiful energy is coming in here with the emperor and the ace of pentacles here. So this is going to put you in a position where you're going to be successful. You're going to be making uh, the money that you need to make, and you're going to be able to um, you know move and do what it is that you need to do. Um, now there's a self-imposed prison here because the universe is saying that you just need to step into your power with the King of Wands energy, all right? And with the Tower in Reverse, uh, this is Major Arcana energy here. This Tower in Reverse represents um, you averting a disaster or, or maybe just being afraid to change. Some of you, you're afraid to leave this situation. That's the reason why you're, you're not going anywhere or you haven't gone anywhere yet. Some of you are, are afraid, okay? That's for some of you. Um, some of you, leaving this person, you averted a disaster, to be quite honest, because this person, you figured them out before they could get what they wanted to get from you, all right? And as a result here, you got the Empress energy in reverse here because now that you've left this person behind, um, you're going to get what it is that you need as far as your financial situation because this person was all about money. They were here trying to get what they could get from you, all right? And with the Hierophant in reverse here, some of you... Um, as far as how you're going to get your money, it could be from a non-traditional type of uh, scenario or situation here. Um, could be through, um, you know, some of you are tarot card readers, all right? But it looks like also here there's is a divorce, okay? And as a, re as a result of divorce, um, you're going to be financially uh, sound here once the divorce is in, 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 in effect. Yeah, so we have the Six of Wands in reverse here. Some of you are feeling um, a sense of being defeated, okay? And then we have the Five of Wands here. This was a very trying um, time for you with this person. It's like there was nothing you could have done. You would not have won with this person, with the Six of Wands, in with the Six of Swords. I'm sorry, with the Six of Wands in reverse. And then we have the Five of Wands in reverse. You realizing that and you let it go, okay? You let the situation go and then you move forward with the Chariot energy, this is um, Cancerian energy, okay? So this is what I'm getting for you guys. So let me get you guys some advice. This is for you, some of you who are going through uh, divorce and separation. This is for some of you who are dealing with someone and you're not sure. Um, well, you've gotten clarity on the situation. You realize this person is just not the one. Oh, I was hoping a different type of read would come up. But for some of you, this is all about... Um, someone that is in your energy still you may not be communicating with this person but there's still uh, this person is in your energy still um so that you may still uh, have a, a attachment to this person so for some of you this could be if if you're no longer with this person there could still be an emotional tie emotional bond to this person um and you're not interested in them but you know it's still a point where things are just still lingering a bit because it's still not 100 percent out of your system yet so we have decision, but for some of you, you're still involved. It says it's time to make a decision about this relationship. So some of you, you're still dealing with this person. You're still living with this person. You're planning on moving out, but some of you, you're waiting on your money. Okay, you don't have the money to move yet. Um, but you've already decided that you've attached, disattached from this person in this relationship. You realize this person is greedy. They have no follow through. Um, they're not going to give you what you need. Fate. So this is a destined partnership. So for some of you who have left this situation already and this person is still in your energy because you're like, why is this still coming up in the reading? It could very well be because uh, of an emotional tie. There still could be a trauma bond to you all, all right, where this person could be thinking about you, you're thinking about them, or maybe you're trying not to think about them because your focus is to move on. But the whole purpose of you connecting with this person is because it's a faded connection. You were supposed to learn a lesson from this uh, relationship here. And some of you did. You realized that this person was just here to uh, take advantage of you. Uh, this was someone that you cared about, someone you invested in emotionally. And you realize that this is what it is here. All right. So what other messages do we have for Scorpio? We have interference. We So we have external parties intruding on this relationship. So an external party could be anyone. It could be that this person is seeing someone else 
which is why um, this, this situation is not right for you. It could be if this person was had no follow through or they were out for money, they were probably, or some of them could have been out for money because they were taking it to whomever they care about. Okay, I've seen a lot of that in the cards over the last couple of months where you have people who um, are in relationships with someone or married to someone, but they're out here messing with other people for money to bring back to their husband or to their wife or to their girlfriend or boyfriend. Just some really um, interesting, for a lack of better word, energy out here. Okay, so that could be it. This could also be that, you know, inter in external interference could just be that someone is tapping into their higher self. And as a result, they realize, nah, I'm not, I'm not with this. So this could be spirit or your higher self, your ancestors, guardian angels tapping you on the shoulder saying, hey, let this go. This person is not for you. So that could be the interference as well. Okay. Doesn't necessarily mean that there's someone else. Okay. It's for some of you, there is. Okay. Now we have second chance. So for some of you, this relationship deserves a second chance. Now, I'm not sure where that is showing here. Um, maybe it's the relationship with yourself is what I'm getting strongly here for some of you, because this person here is it, clearly showing that they're, they're not going to do what it is that needs to be done. And for a lot of you, you already know this. All right. Especially if you've already filed paperwork. So, um, or perhaps this is for some of you, because this is a fated relationship, this could be the soulmate you're supposed to be with, but because you're, you guys are not on the same page right now. You guys have to separate from one another right now. Um, maybe later on in the future, down the line, you guys will reapproach the situation. That's just for some of you. That's not for all of you. For some of you, this person was here to teach you a lesson. For others of you, this person is your, your karmic or your soulmate or your twin flame, whatever term you want to use. But you guys are just not ready to be together right now. So you need to separate. OK, because this one person is just all about what they want. It could very well be that that the reason you guys are not um, able to be together is because of uh, possible third party interference. There could be possibly someone else that they're seeing that they have not wrapped up their um, their relationship. They haven't tied things up completely with this person. So they're not able to commit with you. So this is why you have to let them go. OK, that's what I'm getting for you, Scorpio. I hope you guys um uh, we'll click like and subscribe, especially if this resonated. And um, leave me a comment if it did. And I'll see you guys in the next reading. Peace out.